Alright, what's up, Paradise? How's everybody doing out there? As always, I hope you're all taking good care of yourself, being safe out there. Today, uh, I'm going to do a video making food. Y'all had asked that I do cooking videos, so I decided to show y'all how to make a penitentiary pizza today. Uh, it's really simple to do, and uh, they sell all the ingredients in the commissary. So this will be an easy video. Um, uh, oh, 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 before I forget, I'm not going to say the young lady's name, but there's a lady out there that sent me a hundred dollar donation. And that's rare, and I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. You know who you are. Um, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, one more thing. You know, I've been getting quite a few emails recently, and I've seen several comments also where people are saying, uh, this is not paradise out here, you know, that it's hard uh, struggling to put a roof over your head and have food to eat every day, etc. Yeah, I understand that. I get that. Life is hard. But it's paradise to me because you're free and you have the freedom to choose what you do each and every day. I was a dumbass and forfeited that freedom when I was a kid, okay? But you still have that. You can decide when to get up and walk to the refrigerator and make something to eat or go outside and enjoy the sunshine or whatever the case may be. So, yes, you're living in paradise and until you lose those freedoms, you're probably not going to appreciate them as much as I do. That being said, tomorrow is a new day, a new opportunity to start over, a new way to, new day to change the way you think and change your life. Uh, so just keep pushing forward and things will get better. No doubt about it. Listen, if I can do 46 years in here, I've been in here since I was 14 years old, okay? If I can do 46 years in here, then certainly you can do life out there. So enjoy your life in paradise. I hope you enjoy the video. Hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, if you have any video ideas or questions, you can uh, send them to me in an email. My email is listed in the video description. Alright, so the first step in making a pizza, or as I'm going to make a bowl pizza, I call it a bowl pizza just because I'm making it in a bowl. But the first step is to boil your hot water. Um, I use a stinger, uh, a different kind than you've seen made online, because mine, you know, it, the water is clean. I can use it right like this. So, Hang on a second. The stingers I've seen online that people have made um, don't make clean water. Whereas I use a steel wool. That way I can boil the water, drink it, eat it, whatever. Whereas the way other people are making their stingers online is uh, they gotta put their food in a bag or something and use separate water because you get rust and all this crap in it, the way they do it. So mine is the steel wool. It boils the water and it's clean. As you can see the bottom of my cup is stained with coffee and stuff. But anyway, so that's the first step in the process. You make the hot water. Now, next the next thing you do is take about 10 saltine crackers and crush them up and put them in a bowl. After you put those in there, then you put one soup, or you can use more than one soup if you like it real thick to see it 
this way it's going to be about that thick the dough. I want it too thick because then it just overrides the taste of the rest of the items. And you put a little bit of the seasoning back in it. I only use about a quarter of the seasoning packet because of all of the salt. Once you do that, you just pour some hot water in there. But the key is consistency, okay? You don't want this stuff too loose, and you don't want it too hard, and it's going to swell up all the water anyway. So you just stir it up real good until you get it to the right consistency. It mixed real good, and uh, actually that right there, it looks real soupy, but that's a good consistency. Now what's going to happen, I'm going to let that sit for about 15 minutes or so, and it's going to soak up all the water. Now after it soaks up the water, then what I'm going to do is, we have microwaves here, so I'm going to take it out there in the microwave and nuke it to get any extra moisture out of it because I want this to be like a dough, all right? So you let this sit, then once you let it sit, you go nuke it. And uh, when you come back, take the lid off, let it sit for maybe a half hour so all the extra water will dry up. And then you have your dough. I'll show you the dough after I nuke it. All right, now I have put it in the microwave, and here we go, it's nice and cooked. But what you want to do after you come out of the microwave, take the lid off, let it sit for about 15 minutes so that the condensation will evaporate, you know, as it's cooling, and it excess water in there will evaporate. All right, and then what you're going to do is flip it for 15 minutes. That way... The bottom side will do the same thing. It will, uh, see, look at that. Let the excess water dry out of it, evaporate, and as you can see, it's a nice size of uh, dough. Not too thick, but, you know, it makes it filling. So there's the dough. Now we'll get into the rest of it after that cools. Alright, so now we're going to cut the sausage up. This is summer sausage. This is a piece of formica. I showed you how I do this before. It's come off the tabletop somewhere and uh, works real good to cut this sausage up. So I just chop this bad boy out like so. And uh, this is going to go on top with the pepperoni. Uh, you can also do tuna fish or uh, many other kinds of toppings, but I like to keep it simple and use uh, summer sausage and pepperoni. So I'll take and cut these in fours. So I have nice big chunks. And throw it in the bowl and what I'm going to do is take and cook it up in the microwave, fry it up a little bit. Makes it taste a whole lot better than eating a summer sausage raw. Because even though they're pre-cooked, they're just not as good if you don't nuke them and fry them up real good. So, this is an easy step real quick. And uh, after we do this, we'll take and grate the cheese. Now, I know I've showed you how to grate the cheese before and how to make a cheese grater out of a soda can. If you're fortunate enough to be able to get your hands on a soda can, you know, a lot of max facilities don't even have canned sodas for the police. They got these bottles. But we're fortunate that here 
they have bottled water for the police and canned sodas. So, you can snatch one out the trash when they dump their trash, or certain police, they'll just leave one sitting somewhere for you. I had one guy who, he was like honey buns, and uh, I give him a honey bun for a uh, soda can. So anyway, there you have it. Just take and fry this up, and you're good to go. Then we've got the pepperoni. Alright, now most people just put the whole slice of pepperoni on the pizza. But I like, um, I like a piece of pepperoni in every bite. So what I do is, I cut the slices in half. Okay, so, I break open a safety razor and uh, just cut the slices in half like that. And I'll show you real quick. Uh, all right, here's the blade. This little tiny comes out of a safety razor. And uh, just cut it right down the middle, like so. Cuts like butter. And then when I put it on the uh, pizza, I'll have a bite. I'll have pepperoni in every bite. Alright, now, final step for, for the prep work is to grate the cheese. Okay? Now, in order to grate the cheese, you're going to have to hold on a minute. Alright, I had to get the cheese bar and slice it open. Now we got a bar of cheddar cheese and my grater that I made out of a soda can. And this is real simple and quick. Just rub it like that. And voila. Look at there. So I'll use about a quarter of this bar. Uh because I like a lot of cheese. Now, when you make the pizza, you can either put the layer of cheese on the dough and the pizza sauce and then the pepperoni and sausage. But I like to, instead of using the pizza sauce, I like to use the pouch of chili. Put a half a pouch of chili on it, then sprinkle this cheese on top, and, uh, then put the pepperoni and summer sausage. And that's what I'm going to show you next. Putting the toppings on and you'll be ready to chow down. Alright. Got a razor, I mean a rubber band here to keep this thing closed up. And another rubber band. Pepperoni closed up. Good thing about the pepperoni, you can leave this package uh, once you open it, it can sit for weeks and it's not gonna mold. It will eventually though, so I, I use it within two weeks. And that's it for now. I'll do the toppings in a minute. Okay, so there's our dough. Now you notice around the side there's space. That's because all the excess water has evaporated. <coughs> so now it's like a dough. Check it out. So there we go. Now, first thing we put on here is some jalapeno cheese spread. Okay. A nice good layer of that on there. I love this stuff. I put this in everything I make. It's very good. But it's also hard to get during this pandemic. They, uh, they don't have it in the commissary on the regular. So when they do have it, you have to buy the limit every time you go because it's not going to be there long. Alright, 
And then once you get that on there, then you get some Brush Creek chili. And you only need half the bag. You can get two bowl pizzas out of one of these bags. Okay, you only need to use half of it. And uh, just put that on there. Spread it out real nice. Try to even it out. Like so. And then you go with the grated cheese. Alright. Sprinkle that all around there. I like a lot of this stuff. You know, I like to be able to taste it, you know what I mean? Everything I make, I want to be able to taste it. Except for those damn ramen noodles. Those are just used for a filler and everything. There, now, once you got that on there, you just go to the next step, which is putting the pepperoni on there. So, this will take me a little longer. I'm trying to do this real fast so that uh, this video isn't long. I know a lot of people don't stay around more than four or five minutes. So, I try to keep all my videos short. Now, I noticed something. When I first started this video, the boss beater phone was sitting on the table. I noticed it when I was looking back at some parts of this. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I know people are going to start questioning that. So that's the uh, phone that's known as Beat the Boss because you can sit in the electric, the uh, uh, metal detector chair, and if you had it stuffed up your rectum, it would not set the metal detector off. A lot of people do that stuff. I mean, you know, it's also called the suitcase or whatever, but in prison, you know, a lot of people do that. I admit that in my younger days, I did it with marijuana. That's how I got it in here. But that was a long, 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 long time ago. I don't do any of that kind of stuff anymore. Uh, but yeah, I had that in here. A guy, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but some of the keys were missing off of it. And a uh, guy broke it and he brought it to me and asked me to fix it. But I don't know what he did with it, but that bad boy is beyond repair. Alright, so we got the pepperoni on there. Now, we just, now you see how I got the pepperoni to where I'll have a a piece of it at least in every single bite. That's how I like it. I like to be able to taste everything. Same with the sausage. Now I always use the uh, turkey summer sausage because the beef slash chicken, the other one is beef and chicken mixed, it's about 80% fat. And once you cook it, it shrinks about 50%, you know, uh, and no one likes that, it just doesn't taste as good, the turkey isn't full of all that fat, and it has a much better taste to it, so, I always ride with the turkey, alright, and that's it, now some people, <laughs> Some people like to add the jalapeno wheels. I don't. Usually I'll just grind the jalapeno wheel up and put it in the uh, cheese spread. Uh, but what I will do, I'll throw a few of these diced pickles on here. These are a uh, hot pickle. They're diced up. And, uh, you know, I'll put a little bit of that on there, not too much, because I don't want it to override the taste of the pepperoni and the sausage. And that's it. 
pizza. That's how you make a penitentiary pizza. The finished 